What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we need to have a chat about the new starter decks. There's a set of six starter decks that came out in Japan very recently, and there's a bunch of reprints in them, don't get me wrong. Most of the cards are reprints, but each of these starter decks have some new cards in, and with a bunch of new cards comes a bunch of new rulings, and I know we've done a few FAQs on the channel lately, but you know what? There's been a bunch of stuff about which to do FAQs. Well, today is no different. We've got a bunch of new cards in these six starter decks, so we're going to go forward in order, looking at the rulings for these starter decks. Sound like a plan? Excellent. So over in starter deck 15, that is the Edward Newgate starter deck, the only ruling we got here is about Thatch. This is a one cost 2,000 power counter plus 2k, which incidentally counter plus 2k is awesome. And on play, if your leader is a Whitebeard Pirates leader, then give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2,000 power for the turn, and then put the top card of your life into your hand. So, minus 2k for your opponent, and then you pick up a life, which of course can be good for other Whitebeard cards, gives card advantage, etc. Okay... What if I don't have any life? My leader is Whitebeard Pirates, but I have no life cards. What can I do? Well, what you do is you lower the power of your opponent's character, and then you go to add life to your hand, but you can't, so you don't. But you do still get the minus power. Well, if my leader is Whitebeard Pirates, and I cannot reduce my opponent's character by 2,000, do I still add the top card of my life to my hand, or can I choose not to? You still have to take the life card. And the reason is, you lower power, and then you pick up the life. Well, if you lower power and there's no life, then you lower power and there's no life. If there's no one to lower power, but there is life, then you go to lower the power, there's nothing to lower, and then you pick up the life. You do one, then the other, but the second is not contingent upon the first. That is very important. Starter deck 16 is our Uta starter deck, which is kind of humorous to me because, of course, this is a reprint of an Uta, which was a starter deck in the first place. And this time we've got two characters that need a ruling. Starting off with Gordon. Gordon is a two cost, no power, counter plus a thousand blocker. And when your opponent attacks, you can discard any number of music cards from your hand. And for every one that you discard, you give your leader or up to one of your characters a thousand extra power for the battle. Okay. Well, can I discard two cards that are music and give two of my characters an extra one thousand each? No. You are buffing one character only. You are not buffing multiple. Moving on to Charlotte Katakuri. There is a Charlotte Katakuri deck, but there's also a new Charlotte Katakuri in the Uta starter deck. Three costs, 4,000 power, counter plus 1,000. And if your leader has the film type and you've got six or more rested cards, you gain 2,000 power. Lovely. Well, okay then. If you've got six or more resting cards, including this one, will you get the 2,000 power bump? Yes, you will. Bearing in mind, right, if you play this, you've got to have free rested Don after it's played. With this is four. Attack with your leader to make sure that's rested is five. Getting the extra 2,000 here is very, very, very straightforward. You should be able to get it. Honestly, pretty much all the time. So start at X 17 here. This is your one that is focused around Don Quixote do Flamingo, which... I'm just saying, that deck seems like it's getting better and better lately. And Bandai really tried with this starter deck to make it better. So there is a new crocodile, and there are two questions about this new crocodile. What crocodile actually does is 4 cost, 5,000 power, counter plus 1,000. And on play, reveal a card from the top of your deck. If it is a 7 Warlords of the Sea card, draw 2 and place a card from your hand on top of your deck. Okay. Well, the ruling is just a clarification on what does it mean? What happens when you see a seven warlords of the sea? So I reveal one card and then I look at two cards 
but that includes the revealed card, so two in total. And then you place any card from your hand on top of your deck, but it does not have to be one of the two cards you just picked up with Crocodile's skill. It could be one you previously had in hand. What happens if you reveal a card from the top of your deck? And it's not a seven Warlords of the Sea. Will you put it back on top of your deck, face down? The standard response to, oh, it's not the thing that I was hoping it was going to be. Never mind. There's also a new Trafalgar Law. Again, four cost. Again, 5,000 power. Again, counter plus 1,000. This is one of the designated super rares from the deck, I should add. And on play, you may return one of your characters to its owner's hand. And if your leader is a seven warlords of the sea, return a cost four or lower to its owner's hand. Well, if I don't have a seven warlords of the sea, can I return one of my characters to my hand anyway? Yes, you can. But you can't return one of your opponents. Essentially, the way it works is returning one of your characters to your hand is essentially the cost of the skill. That is the requirement of the skill. Once you've done that, you can return a cost for a lower character to its owner's hand, but that's actually separate. First, you put a character in your hand, then you look to your opponent's board. Oh, there's no character, but you still returned one of yours to your hand, which of course could be big because you might have something like the new buggy that you use for the play skill that lets you rearrange the top three cards of your deck, but it's also got counter plus 2000, good play skill, not doing much when it's on the board, so you bounce it back to your hand and you've got an extra counter plus 2k in your hand ready to go. So yes, there are absolutely situations here where this is worth using, even though your opponent doesn't have a character to bounce. Moving into starter deck 18, that is your Luffy starter deck. It's that purple Luffy that gets reprinted every five minutes. And we've got ourselves a new Nami. Now, what the Nami does, it was an Onami, actually, if we want to be pedantic, which we do. It's full cost, 2,000 power, counter plus 1,000 blocker. And on play, if you have eight or more Don, trash a card from your hand and draw two. Well, if I've got zero cards in my hand and eight or more Don, can I draw two cards? Yes, you can. This is actually pretty important because it would be easy to read this as you have to discard if you can't discard, you can't draw. But here, again, it's a case of trash one. Oh, I can't trash one. But you still get to draw two because they are one after another. They are not dependent on each other, which is pretty gosh darn important. And that seems to be the only ruling for that starter deck. Although on the official website, they have gone and put some random starter deck 20 rulings in here, which is a bit weird. But moving to starter deck 19, this is the Smoker starter deck. This is the one about which I am most excited. We've got ourselves a new Tashigi. Now, what we see here from the new Tashigi, 5 cost, 6,000 power, counter plus 1,000. And we've got on play, if your leader is Smoker, one of your opponent's characters gets minus 4 cost for the turn. And activate main once per turn. If the character was played this turn, trash one of your opponent's zero-cost characters. Can a character placed in the trash by this activate main effect activate any KO effects? You are trashing one of your opponent's characters. Do they get on KO effects activating? No. Because they weren't KO'd. They were trashed. It's not the same thing. Being trashed off the board is not the same as being KO'd. You don't get them. If my leader is not Smoker, can I still trash a zero cost to my opponents with the Activate main? Yes, you can, because these are two completely different skills. On play, if your leader is Smoker, one of your opponent's characters gets minus four cost for the turn. Obviously, if your leader isn't Smoker, that won't activate. Completely separate, Activate main once per turn. If it was played this turn, trash a zero cost character. This is important. Now, we've got ourselves a Hina here. Now, this is a very nice card. We like Hina. Hina tends to be pretty good. We got four cost, 6,000 power, no counter. And, of course, it is a designated super rare. And Don X1 on your opponent's turn. This character gets plus four cost. Makes it more awkward for your opponent to get rid of. And activate main once per turn. You can put a card from your trash to the bottom of your deck. To give your leader or up to one of your characters a rested Don. 
If you don't have any cards in your trash, can you use this? No! Because it's before the colon. And anything in bold before the colon is a requirement. It is the cost of using the skill. So you can't pay that. You can't do the skill. There is also a Monkey to Garp, which is a new card coming in this deck. Free cost, 4,000 power, counter plus 1,000 blocker. And activate main once per turn. You can put a card from your trash to the bottom of your deck to give one of your opponent's characters minus one cost for the turn. You can probably guess what the ruling is, and you can probably guess the result. What if you've got no cards in your trash? Well, then you can't do this, can you? The answer is no. No, you cannot, ladies and gentlemen, because it doesn't work. It's a requirement of the skill. And our last starter deck here is your Charlotte Katakuri. And obviously, there is a new Charlotte Katakuri character. 5 cost, 6,000 power, counter plus 1,000 blocker. And activate main once per turn. You can turn the top card of your life face up to give your leader or one of your characters up to one rested Don. Again, before the colon means it's a requirement. If the top card of your life is already face up, can you use this skill to give a rested Don to your leader or your character? No! Because you have to turn the card face up. If it's already face up, you can't turn it face up. And therefore, you cannot use a skill. There's a new Charlotte Cracker. 4 cost, 5,000 power, counter plus 1,000. When this character would be KO'd by an effect, you may instead trash the top card of your life. And as a trigger, trash a card from your hand to play it. If this character is KO'd by an effect but I don't have any life. Can I save the character from being KO'd? Nah, mate. Because you need to trash the top card of your life instead of taking the KO. If you can't do that, then you just can't pay it. Sorry about that. And then the final card here is we've got a new Charlotte Lin Lin. Six cost, 7,000 power. And on play, you trash a card from your hand and your opponent does one of the following things. They either discard two cards from their hand or trash a card from the top of their life. Well, if I activate this and my opponent chooses discard two cards from their hand, who chooses the two cards? The player who has not activated the effect, i.e. you play Charlotte Lin Lin, your opponent chooses which cards to trash. If you activate it and my opponent chooses put the top card of their life into their trash, which player's life goes into the trash? Obviously, it's your opponent. We, we had this same issue when we saw the previous Charlotte Lin Lin, the one from Starter Deck 7, and there was a question as to, well, you know, what are you actually choosing here? Look, I'm playing Charlotte Lin Lin, something bad is happening to your board. We're not doing the thing where I'm playing Charlotte Lin Lin and you get an advantage. That would be ridiculous. So here, yeah, it's the bad one. So... I'm not playing this and you're either trashing two cards from your hand or one of my life. <laughs> no, you're trashing your own life. And there are actually a couple other rulings about Charlotte Lin Lin that were found in a different place on the website. But don't worry, I've looked everywhere and put them all together. Somebody messed up a bit putting them on the website. It's fine, it happens. If my opponent has zero life and I activate this effect, discard a card from my hand... Can my opponent choose to put the top card of their life into the trash? But even though they have no life, yeah. But hmm, gutted. <laughs> so basically, if your opponent already has no life and you play this Charlotte Lin Lin, they are going to, well, it, if they're paying attention, they're going to choose to trash the top card of their life, which of course does nothing. What if my opponent has one or zero cards in hand and they choose to discard two cards from their hand? Yeah, they can as well. So if they've got zero cards in hand, I feel very confident they're going to choose to discard two cards from their hand, which of course nothing actually happens. But hey-ho, you need to be a bit careful when you play this. So there we go. That's it. That's all the rulings. I had a good look round. I found all the rulings. And now it's over to you guys. What do you think about these? Which ones are exciting to you? Which of these starter decks are you most hyped for? Let me know in the comment section. Good us. Me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? 
Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.